just as a follow-up. You see how calm it is in here now. I called Dot. Dot tried to attack me every time I got near him. I pulled him out of the cage because this one again this afternoon ended up with um I don't like I don't know where the blood was coming from, but uh the tip of the beak was bloody and was dropping one way. And everybody just kept these two kept jumping for the ceiling trying to get away anytime Dot would wake up. It's good you got energy, that's great. And your wings still stretchy, that's good. So without Dot in there, it's a lot safer for everybody else to finish growing out. And then this cage is a lot calmer. Still. So that's good. Clearly I woke everybody up up here, huh? Talking about you. And also, here's Pearly. I'm gonna put some cream on your head again, didn't I, Pearly? Everything looks pretty good on you. You're still healing, you're doing real good. Huh. That was this one right here. So, yeah, now I'm just gonna continue to observe. I'd like to keep a yellow bird as one additional rooster for the breeding stock. And so I am watching everyone. I mean, the brown birds just need to finish growing up pretty much. Everybody's about six ounces right now, so they're not quite full grown yet. Are you boinking? I don't know why you're boinking. Why are you boinking? They're not quite full size yet, um, but they will be within two weeks. And in the meantime, if, if it becomes urgent again, I'll continue to, pro to approach it accordingly. Huh. That's what I mean by boinking. I don't know why you're boinking. Why are you boinking? You were sleeping until I started recording. You a boinker? Why are you boinking? You're a silly boinker. And I'll continue to switch up the cages just to see how they do when introduced to new quail. That gives you an idea how they'll interact with the hens on arrival. And we'll continue to monitor Phantom Pearly for healing from my mistake on the way I handled introducing her to the other hens. It didn't go well. So, yeah. You still got your wing a little bit dropped, huh? Yeah. You definitely landed wrong when you were boinking away from Dot that one time, and I'm not sure you're okay. You see it? How oh, that wing's a little low. And that's the lonely sound. Phantom Pearly is sad and lonely. Yeah, dude. I'm not sure if you're okay or not, bub. Not sure. Sleep it off. See how you feel. I'll turn the lights up. You'll be all right. So, yep, yeah, there's the update. I did as promised. I um, removed Doc Dot from the breeding stock and removed her from him rather from. I know you're loud. Removed him from being a danger to the other birds. I can handle a couple more weeks of crowing and being loud, especially since they're not right next to my workstation. It's not nearly as bad. Sad bird. You had a bad day. I should have just done Dot in the morning. I just didn't get to it right away. 
Yep. Guess we'll find out. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by Cliffside to visit the quail in the kitchen. All the quail say hi. And they're doing good. Uh, thanks for the visit and take care. Bye.